All right, we have a lot to talk about today. Some th big things regarding UCL cards have just been released into FIFA, and we're going to have a look at them. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. EA just tweeted out, Rare and common Champions League items are now in packs alongside their base version equivalent. They will remain available for the remainder of FIFA 20. So... They look exactly the same in terms of stats. They're just a different card. So you're going to get a 90 UCL Van Dyke or a 90 normal Van Dyke. Now that, to me, first of all, means I would have thought double the chance of getting these cards in packs. We're going to open up some packs to open them anyway to see if we can get something good. To me, I think, does that mean that I have double the chance of packing a Van Dyke? Surely, right? Like, surely I'd have thought that that means that I have the double the chance of getting a Van Dyke in packs because there's technically two different Van Dykes in packs. Whether they have the same drop weight or not, I don't know. Um, we will have to see. We also have some UCL marquee matchups and um, a UCL SBC. So we're going to complete both of those. But it's pretty interesting. I'm uh, I'm sort of looking towards the A now to see what they sort of say now in terms of is it double the chance or have they halved the chances of both cards to make it the same sort of chance of packing the, the UCL card or the non-UCL card. So say if there's a 1% chance of packing a Van Dyke in a pack, it's obviously way lower than 1%, but for, for the sake of just talking about it, let's say there's a 1% chance of packing a Van Dyke in a pack. Does it now mean that each version of Van Dyke has half a percent of packing him, therefore making up that 1% with the two different variants of card? I don't know. We will have to see. Clarification like that would be cool. Hopefully EA do clarify that in some time to come. Um, we are yet to get a UCL card though, so interesting. No UCL card yet. We'll have to have a look and see if we can get one sometime soon. Um, but yeah, no, pretty interesting. I'd say strange is definitely a word for it. We do have something here though. We've got a UCL card. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's going to be a board. What's it going to be? I, I kind of like the blue. It looks really, really solid. Um, it's going to be Nacho Fernandez. Uh, no, sorry, Nacho Fernandez. Yeah, Nacho Fernandez. It is going to be Nacho Fernandez. Okay, um, interesting. Okay, uh, I don't know what to think of it about it really, apart from cool, I guess. Um, I do. I actually like the design. I, I'm a big fan of the design. A lot of people hate the design last year. I actually really like the design um, and the pack animation as well. It's actually pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, I like that pack animation. I think that the, the blue dropping down looks really, really, really clean. So pretty interesting though. Um, I wonder if every single UCL card is on a board, meaning that you're going to get a lot more boards in packs. That as well is another question that I guess we have to ask ourselves. Um, I didn't check that back to see if there was a higher rated player than Nacho Fernandez that didn't show up, but we'll have to see that. We have five mega packs though. We're going to go up and open all five of these mega packs and see what we can get. Now there is also ultimate screams in packs. Again, I wonder how that works in terms of, um, you know, Otamendi, for example. With Otamendi, do you pack his UCL card or do you pack his ultimate scream card, which has the, the better chance? Is his ultimate scream card the same rating as his uh, scream card? Sorry, is his ultimate scream card the same rating as his UCL card? More things that I think EA would be great at, at clarifying. Uh, I would love the clarification, but these packs are utter diabolical. These are, just aren't great at all, really. They're not looking good, EA. Come on, we want to we wanna improve our pack look around here. Hey, we've got Mur Muriel. So that shows that at least they're not all going to show up as boards. Muriel's not bad. We'll take that. Um, another UCL card right there. And it shows that if you have a higher rated player, the higher rated player will show up before the UCL card. So that is at least some clarification there. We've got three mega packs left, though. We'll see if we can pack ourselves a UCL card again. I'd love a UCL walkout. Um, we've got at least a board here. And it's not a UCL card this time. It's only a board, though, sadly. It's going to be Brazilian. See... Uh... Felipe, 84 rated is not too bad. I swear, though, with Brazilians, if you don't get a board, uh, so if you don't get a walkout, you kind of just want Alan or Fabinho, I feel like. I can't, or Felipe Anderson, I guess. Uh, we do have a player pick. Go on, let's see, let's see a UCL player pick here. Come on. Sadly, no UCLs in the player pick, disappointingly enough. We'll take James Madison because he's not a duplicate. Store all those in the club. No UCL duplicates there either. Um, let's go and open up the uh, the rest of these mega packs and then some premium golds because uh, I do want to stack up the club. And we aren't going to get a board again. That's really poor, actually. The pack look is not great right now, EA. Come on. We want to see better pack look than that. Hey, we've got another UCL card, though, in Dennis. We'll take that um, and discard the rest. 
I, I don't like it does seem like a bit strange. I would love to hear your opinions down below. Let me know down below what you think of this promo. Do you think it's a bit strange? Do you think it's cool? Um, no walkout in the last mega pack, but it is going to be a board. It's going to be Hamshik, I think. Is it Hamshik? No, it's going to be, um, I forget his name. Campbell. There you go. Kevin Campbell. Um, maybe some more UCL cards in this. I don't know. But I do think, yeah, like I said, I, f I find it quite strange, really. I find it strange. Like, why isn't this cater a UCL card? Obviously, they're both in packs at the same time. But I mean, like, what's the chances of packing the blue one over the normal one? Because obviously, both of them are the same rating. It surely should have the exact same chance, right? I don't know. Like, I'd love to hear the clarification behind it, I guess. But we have some premium gold packs to open. So let's open them now. Let's see if we can get anything good. Uh, I won't show you all of these premium gold packs. So I don't think any of you care if they're non-rares. Uh, I'll just sort of skip back when we get some good stuff. Hey, we've got a blue Loftus Cheek. Okay, I don't think these cards are selling for much. Um, apparently, it's like 10k, but I don't think it will be. I think it's just the lack of supply. Um, what I do find interesting as well, imagine like a week after Team of the Year drops, you get like a, a, a UCL version of Van Dyke. Like that's going to just scare so many people and bait so many people into like getting super excited over nothing. That's like a few things I'm thinking. Like I just don't understand this at all. And maybe I'm just being facetious, but I truthfully just do not understand like why uh i mean cool special cards i guess um i don't know like yeah i just i just don't know i mean ea just you do you guys i guess i don't know <laughs> hey we've got something it's at least a board no walkout sadly what's it gonna be brazilian centimid allen hey we actually got allen for the first time this year this is legit the first time i packed allen this year that's actually a really really good pull though i am very happy with that uh, I don't know how much, he's currently about 50,000 coins, but Alan, if you guys don't know, is, in my opinion, hey, two boards in one pack, Bernard Leno in there as well. Alan, in my opinion, is one of the best players in this game. And I know that sounds crazy for a player that's literally 85 rated when you've got players like Kante and people like that, but Alan is ridiculously good this year. I'm a big fan of him, so I'm glad that we packed him. I actually use him in pretty much most of my squads, so that's a really cool card to pack. Hey, that's a good card to get. We've got Jamie Vardy. Uh, is he still quite expensive? I guess he's maybe like 7, 8k, something like that. I'm going to list him up for 7.4. That's pretty good. We'll take a Jamie Vardy. Not too bad. Discard the rest. Not too shabby. Hey, thank you very much. Hey, we've got something here. Hey, it's another UCL card. It's not going to be a walkout, though. It's a board. It's going to be Uruguayan goalkeeper Musleta. That's not too bad. I think. 81, uh, 81 rated. I mean, I, I keep thinking like they're actual special cards. Like they're technically special cards, but they're not. I keep thinking like, because it's a board, I'm thinking it's better than what it is. I don't know. Um, <laughs> this, got, this is so confusing. It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't at all. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, that's an interesting pack. So we have a blue and an 81 to 83 special players pack. Not special players pack, but just players pack, I guess. <sighs> Underwhelming. I'm going to take Benega because I'll stick him on the transfer list. But um, that could have been better. I actually really wish we got like a UCL card in a in a player pick. That would be cool. But yeah, I don't know. I think the thing that I'm... I'm We've got at least a board here. It's probably going to be a UCL. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's, it's just a board. Um, German center forward Cruz. I think the thing that confuses me... And don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Um, I think that... Uh, Ultimate Scream has been the best promo so far or like very it's been a very good promo It's definitely like like it's up there with some of the better promos EA have ever done in my opinion. I think it's a fantastic promo um, So I'm not complaining because I, I, we're in the middle of, of one of the best promos we've seen in a long time I just think that it's a bit weird. I don't know. It's just a bit weird really it just doesn't make a lot of sense why they do this because the whole of Ultimate Team, we're just going to be getting, like, we're going to be swapping between blue and normal versions of players. To me, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I don't know. Like, I like I said, I'd love to hear your opinion on it. I just It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I, I don't know. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make sense to me at all. Um, I, I'm sure EA have got, like, a plan. They've got an idea. I mean, it's going to be cool because if you pack them, you keep them and then good for SBCs. But I don't know. It's just weird. So we didn't get an SBC for um, for Ultimate Scream today. Uh, I am going to go ahead and complete the Under the Spotlight and UEFA Marquee matchups. And I'll see you guys when we have uh, the packs now. For this one, we get 600 coins in a rare election players pack. So I'll see you guys back here when I've completed both SBCs. So Under the Spotlight SBC has been completed. Like I said, 600 coins in a rare election players pack for that one. Just thought I'd show you how I completed it. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and do UEFA Marquee matchups. 
Galatasaray versus Real Madrid completed with a full Super League team of just players I've just had in packs and things like that. Um, so that one was pretty easy. And let's go ahead and complete the last one. And Ajax versus Chelsea completed really easily with just a, a classic Premier League squad. So there you go. We'll submit both of these. Um, we get ourselves for completing, I think, a small prime gold players pack. Um, and then we have, of, of course, the rare election players pack and the premium gold players pack and the rare gold pack, I think. So we'll go with the small prime gold first. Because uh, I think that this is probably going to be the, the, the smallest value in terms of all of the packs. Now, unfortunately, we're not starting off with anything spectacular. We might get ourselves a UCL player in there if it's like a non-rare or something. Um, and not even. Sadly, not, not a great start. We'll just discard those items. Uh, we'll go with the rare gold pack next. See if we can get anything better from this pack. Obviously, we get two of these per week for free. So we'll see. Uh, we have at least a board. No walkout, sadly, for this one. But it's going to be uh, Hrideki. 83, I think. So we might have something else in the pack. We've got a Kurzuma. Are you actually selling for a bit? Um, Maybe like a maybe a little bit. Maybe like 1.7. I, I know I used him, so that's that's why I'm, I'm checking. Um, No one else going for anything there. Uh, I'll go with the premium gold players pack next. Let's see if we can get anything good from the premium gold players pack. Sadly, it's not going to be a board. Um, That's disappointing. Again, we may get some UCL players in there or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we will have to see. And not even a single UCL player. Interesting. Anyone that's going to sell for anything? Nothing there. Now, we're going to end off with the rare election players pack. Let's see if we can end it off on a good player. Let's have a look here. Come on. We've done a walkout in this entire pack opening. And it's not going to start here, unfortunately. Because that is a non-board. So, pretty poor pack look for me today. A uh, bit disappointing, really. But nothing, nothing spectacular, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing new, nothing good. So we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to move on from that. If you have enjoyed the video though, leave a like down below. Let me know what the hell is going on here. What this is so wacky, confusing. I'm not entirely sure, but let me know down below what you think of it. Thank you all for your support and watching, and I'll see you lads later.